This is our Alcatel uh, Firefox uh, OS device. It's one-touch fire. Uh, we launched this uh, in a big press event here on the eve of the Mobile World Congress. We have 17 carriers, operators partnering with us and quite a few device makers like Alcatel partnering with us as well. Uh, the devices will start from in uh, second quarter of this year and going forward we'll have many more launch device launches including Venezuela. So we have uh, uh, it's it's a very similar experience to any other smartphone devices that are out there from Apple or Google. It's a full touch screen. It has got two volume buttons, power, and uh, it's a very clean device. There's a camera on the back. There are specs here. Uh, the display uh, is three and a half inches. We have 512 uh, and 256. There are two options for RAM, and there is a 1400 milliampere hour battery. Uh, we are going to initially launch this in emerging markets like Latin America, Eastern Europe, where there is the next billion people moving up from feature phones to smartphones in the price point that they can afford. And uh, so since it's very lightweight operating system, does not need a very high-end processor, uh, and that what makes it uh, cheaper but that doesn't mean the experience is not uh, it, it, it's not a low end experience it can do everything that a smartphone does there's a marketplace email calendar gallery and uh, for example there's a lot of social integration in contacts with Facebook the beauty of this is it's all open source there is no control or approval or certifications involved. So Telefonica has created a cost control application, which is uh, which helps the users to check how much balance they have on their account when they are uh, trying to use data on a smartphone, which is one of the major uh, concerns they had. So you can set a limit at one gigabyte, and you can, as you go, you can show you how many dollars and cents you are spending on that. They could do that because we have an open OS. We don't have any uh, certification and approval, like I mentioned, to not allow anybody to do anything with this OS. It's all on our website. You can use the source code. And a lot of other carriers are also using these kind of features. And moving on, we'll see a lot of innovation happening and we'll continue pushing that. Our main aim is to bring the HTML5 type of web technologies to the mobile phones and make it widely adopted. So overall, the open web technologies move forward. There are uh, around 8 million websites which can be used as app because they are all based on HTML5 and we have uh, one way to access those here.